douchebag for lack of a better description. Like, then, yeah, that's the kind of stuff that there's just no room for that. Um, all right, unpopular opinions. Yeah, rapid fire. Yeah. So my unpopular opinion is that uh, John Mayer is my favorite member of the Grateful Dead. <laughs> wow. This is a big topic in Colorado, by the way. <laughs> I can imagine, and I'm yeah. pretty sure that a live if anyone yeah. watches, you're gonna just alive, just all of them, just all go. of them that just, ever happened. Uh, yep. Oh boy. It's like if uh, if if Jerry was like the foundation, like John Mayer, obviously couldn't exist in that role without him. But it's just like kind of stepped it's it up a little so bit. Un- <laughs> so unpopular. <laughs> I, and I understand why people hate on it. I was reluctant at first too. I'm not like a huge Dead fan, but and then I heard. I think Chris showed me uh, like this live performance, and I was blown away. I was like, "Holy fuck!" This guy was doing what John Mayer does a year ago, and now in the course of a year, he has studied and learned this genre, and is nailing it. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it's not easy to do. You know, like yeah, Jerry's. Jerry's are such a unique player. Was such a Absolutely. unique player. And John Mayer kind of captured it. <laughs> you know? I agree. I, I like him. Heard him play quite a bit. I've seen him live a couple of times. He's a great musician. You oh, know yeah. I mean, he gives a damn. And you can tell he's a big uh, deadhead, you know. So much bigger deadhead than I am. And I, I love the dead, but I know what you mean. I, I definitely grew up on Led Zeppelin more than the Grateful Dead. Exactly. Myself, yeah, I, so. never, I never... I just have never been able to get into the Grateful Dead. Oh, know. this no, podcast is heresy, dude. Heresy. I know Touch of Grey. That's oh, the oh my God. That's like, that, that's like the one that everyone hates. Yeah. Too. God damn it. <laughs> yeah. He's like, no, I just, trucking? What's that? I literally, yeah, no, I'm, I do know more than that. But I mean, yeah. I just, it's just, so like, I, I, you know, I mean, I know about them and I know some of the music, but it's just, I've never really, it's never like captured me. I feel yeah. you. Yeah, I'm, I'm the same way, which is probably why I'm saying that I like John Mayer <laughs> as a great member of the Grateful Dead because <laughs> yeah. no real dead well, I'm a big O'Teal fan, so you can there do you. no wrong when, in my book. There you, you know, go. It's funny that, you, sure. that totally. you mentioned that because somebody just sent me a meme the other day about Mayer and the Dead, and it was like, I'm paraphrasing, but I think it was like Grateful Dead with John Mayer is like the equivalent of getting a blowjob by, while wearing a condom. Oh no! <laughs> oh I was God. like, That's man, so accurate. shots oh, fired. No. What's John, your unpopular opinion? John Mayer for mayor. Yeah, John, John Mayer. For great mayor. fucking slogan. Anyways, uh, so I had it. I had to nix my original one. So my next one, I'm just at the top of my head, is uh, what was it? If you're uh, playing a sport, it's not a sport unless you're actually playing against somebody. So like fighting, 100 percent is a sport. Yeah. But the Olympics. Mm-mm. Like Ooh. nothing. There's not. It's not. None of those are sports. They're playing against other countries. Right? No, 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 no. That's not what I meant. I meant like uh, they're just like skiing down a hill. Who can go ski down the fastest? That's not a sport. Oh well, that's not a sport. That is incorrect. NASCAR, <laughs> on the other hand, 100 percent a sport. There's Why? Like, <laughs> there's 40 cars on the track. He's from Kentucky. Other Born and raised. Want to fight about? Shoot. <laughs> no, but, uh, I was uh, 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 watching. There's, there's 40. There's 40 cars on a track. They're all going against each other. That's a sport. Golf, <laughs> not a sport. Golf is a sp- golf, not a sport. Oh my goodness! If they were both playing at the same time and whoever got in there first, that's they're, a sport. They're playing at the same time. They're playing at the same time. Like twelve downhill skiing, right? You know, yeah, twelve at the same once. time. Yeah, at the same time. Why don't they do it at the same time? Maybe that would be that's a sport. Logistically, yeah. it's like kind of a hazard, right? The Olympics in general are bullshit because it's all genetics. Like, well, it's not Winter Olympics. But I'm just saying, like, who can jump the highest? Who can run the fastest? That's all it is. It's stupid. <laughs> that's what every sport. So we need like. No, so it's not. It's about playing against. <laughs> Somebody. Yeah, so what but, he's saying is we need to take the Olympics and make it more like the Squid Games. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So there's like 12 people going down the mountain at once, yes. and whoever doesn't make it, like the first one across survives, and then all the rest of them just like the bottom of the mountain opens up. One yes. One thousand percent. And like the ratings have gone through the shitter for the Olympics, and I, I'm just trying to boost NBC's ratings. So let's okay. go. Right. NBC right. needs them, yeah, for sure. You know, <laughs> some hits while you're skiing or something, you're allowed to bump. Yeah. Hundred percent full contact alpine skiing. <laughs> <laughs> you can bring I weapons. like it. Well, I like it. The Olympics aren't cool anymore. No, That's they don't true. have any like stars anymore. I mean, they had yeah. Usain Bolt the, like like twelve years ago or whatever. But ever since then, or Michael Phelps. Well, the medium is dying too, right? Like live television. Yeah. It's just that the people yeah, aren't really. watching it anymore. Yeah, maybe so. you don't make it in another country that's 13 hours ahead. <laughs> or just make it, yeah. or like turn it into a podcast series. Yeah. <laughs> then people will watch it. That's yeah, if, they can, if they can like watch the Olympics on Netflix, then yeah. it'll be like, like oh, we're going to binge the 2020, like 
That's Sweet. so yeah. true. Yeah, making it a series on Netflix. Because I remember, like, when I was a kid, and it was like you'd have the opening or closing ceremonies. It was like everybody it was just like you, uh, it was yeah. a thing. You know, yeah, we'd all watch it, and just, all the pomp and circumstance around all of it was just like, wow, this is so cool. But it was also like that was what was on TV, and like the other stations that weren't carrying it, like made sure they didn't. They were like, well, we'll just run infomercials tonight because nobody's going to be watching this anyway. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> and now it's just like I feel like there's so much else going on, and it's like you hear about the Olympics and then, I don't know, I just feel like the all the, the air is out of the balloon on those. Well, it's a medium and it every four years doesn't work anymore because it, it was such whole people's attention. Exactly. Yeah. We need it all right now. It's like yeah, no. album cycles are the same way, right? Like, say, it used to be like two years, 18 months. Now it's like, you better be releasing a single every month, motherfucker. Otherwise, you're not getting the visibility on Spotify. So <laughs> it's the <laughs> yeah. same shit with the Olympics. You know, it's like. It's four years is just not quick enough anymore. Are there people. any yeah. like, yeah, like totally. team sports in the Olympics? Oh, they're they have, all they, team they sports, right? Because they they're all playing for a country. Soccer. They all face each other. They're all countries that, that are facing against each other, right? So they're all playing on teams. I like the real world Olympics, like Russia versus Ukraine. That's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> team USA. Team USA. <laughs> yeah. What's your unpopular opinion, Todd? What you got? I don't have any, man. I'm the happiest guy in the world. <laughs> <laughs> he's agreeable yeah, so agreeable totally with everybody agree. that's an unpopular <laughs> opinion right yeah, yeah, right. yeah exactly he's agreeable <laughs> I have a slight one which again I don't know if this really qualifies but it was that, that I think that social media as a whole has done more to harm the music industry and musicians and bands than it has done to help them yeah, yeah that's unpopular that's unpopular this is a good one we talked about Spotify and the streaming platforms a few weeks ago and that my unpopular opinion is I don't think they're terrible. I think social media, if it's used properly, can be a force for good. But ultimately, it's probably done more harm than good to music as I just, a whole. Yeah, I just feel like it's become more about the self-promotion and marketing and than it is about, like, like let the music speak for itself. Totally. You know? so it's like, yep. and, and I complain about this all the time, too, where it's like, you know, you're trying to get endorsements with companies. And it's like, we're out there playing shows in front of thousands of people with JJ, you know, over a hundred to 120 dates a year. And because I don't have an Instagram page with like 10,000 or 20,000 followers, like, no, it's like some companies just, you can't even approach them. And some of them are great, you know, but some of them, it's like, you can't even get your foot in the door unless, oh, you know, changed and so there's like, you know, there's like, kids who are just sitting in their room just like gospel chops all day and they're amazing and they're incredible but i'm like well okay what are they actually doing though besides that i'm with you man i, I think that that's definitely true we, even for us as a band that wasn't established before the social media thing right it's like we're at, at a point now where it's impossible for us to really grow because we need before we can even play a club in another city and sell tickets Say, well, what does your social media look like? It's like, well, um, I don't know, man, but we have like two albums out and we've done some regional touring. So if you let us come in and promote the thing right, we can make something happen here. But like, if you're not even giving me the time of day because I don't have like 10,000 followers on social media, yeah, then what are, we, what are we supposed to do here? You know, our hands are tied. So yeah. then it becomes about the content creation and all that stuff. And then we have to sell our soul to the thing just so we can be a, a working touring band, you know? And, and there is a weird thing. It's funny you say that about Spotify to jokingly say that the royalty rate is just fine, you know? And it is for <laughs> someone like me because like, I, I wouldn't get shit otherwise. I, I wouldn't get anything that I'd worked and written if it weren't for streaming at any point, if it weren't for totally. satellite radio and those things, be gone. You totally. know, back in the day, you were on one of seven radio channels, maybe three or four of them were really popular. And yeah, without that, you know, shitty Spotify and everything else, I'd get absolutely nothing you and know? people would still i'm be sorry listening. to hear taylor taylor swift isn't getting as much yeah. as she <laughs> needs to i love her i really do i like her stance and she gives a damn you know but yeah it is it, it hurts even harder you know on the lower levels you know it's like yeah you're you're not getting your rate you should see mine right you know? yeah, right yeah no it's true and then also it's like it's not even like people wouldn't be hearing the music at all because they were just downloading it before yeah. so it's like at least now yes. you get to see something off yeah, of that you know? it's out so. there yeah it, it is it's another side of it but so. i want my jukebox model it's going to change the face of it's it. not going to happen hey no. man Jesus. let's just sell 45s for three bucks a piece like it should be yeah um, old school pay That's more for a single than you do now you know yeah we laugh at that <laughs> that sounds like a like a crazy grind to do right now imagine yeah. putting 45s and just selling them out of a trunk it's like hey guys so <laughs> Who wants to hear my single? Say, where are you from, like 1950? <laughs> <Fuck out of here. laughs>